Hi guys, welcome to a new quick tutorial. Today, let's see how to prepare our emulsion shocks properly to go to a track for a practice day or a race day. What we're gonna need? Four shocks with emulsion shock caps, some high quality shock oil. What I recommend is the XTR shock oil. What I also say is in your RC travel bag, you need just one brand of silicone oil, high quality one and the same brand. This is really important if you want to go thicker or if you want to go thinner every single brand is a little bit different so if you are mixing the brands it's never going to be the same and what you want to do on your shock absorber is never going to be the same if you want to go thicker and you go in a different brown you might go thinner so just really be careful about that that's why i recommend the xtr shock oil today we always have them in stock and the range is super wide so you're never gonna miss what you need concerning cst versus wt we have some charts on the website also so check them out the oil is going to be the same it's just the measure that is different you're also going to need a hex tool for the kyosho shock caps it's a 1.5 millimeter depends on the brand but it's just to close the cap and a microfiber towel here we are in more details we're going to start with empty shocks this is a six hole 1.2 millimeter piston in the front 613 in the back here first let's give it a check so you get the rubber boot out, spin it, make sure that the shaft is not bent. And also make sure that the rubber boot doesn't have a hole. The oil is supposed to be clean every single time you open your shocks. If it's not, change the rubber boot because the dust is going to get in, the O-rings are going to be messed up and it might leak later on. We can fill up the shock. This is 450 shock oil. Until the top. No big deal for now. It's just in order to make sure that the air bubbles are gonna go out. So I just get the shaft in and out, spin it, make sure that the air that is underneath the piston is gonna get through it and out of the oil. We're gonna let our shock absorber sit a little bit. So we make sure that the air goes out. We can go through all the four shocks at that time, fill them up. You can use a vacuum pump uh, it's going to speed up the process, but your shock is not going to be made better. The suspension is not going to get any better. You're just going to save time, which is great for a race day. So the air is now all out. I'm just going to fill it up until it is almost too much. So as you can see here, it has a bubble like that. So it's really filled up as much as possible. And we get the shock cap. No bleeder screw at that time. Bleeder screw is there. So I just put the shock cap on, tight it. Shock shaft is fully out at that time. So I fully close the cap, secure it with my hex driver. Here we are. The cap is in place. No problem with that. We get the microfiber towel and we're going to check the bleeder hole now. We get the shaft fully in. As you can see, the oil start to leak here from the bleeder hole. Keep your shock with an angle like that. So the highest point is where the oil goes out. So the oil and the air will go out from here. At that time, my shock shaft is fully inside the shock. I have two solutions. Either you put the bleeder screw back in, or like me, if you feel sure enough, you just secure the hole with your thumb like that. And then we're going to get the shaft in and out 10 times. Some guys will tell you do it five times. Some guys will tell you do it 20 times. The most important is do it every single time with the same amount. So you make sure that your shocks are always made with the same method. So now we can open the bleeder hole again. So get the screw out if you are using the screw again. And then we're going to get the shaft in again and wipe the oil excess. So I keep the shaft fully inside and now we can close the bleeder hole. I'm going to tighten that screw till it locks. Be really careful because those screws are really small usually. And here we are, shaft fully in, bleeder screw fully locked. My shock is ready. We can 
feel that there is no leak, no air to make sure that it's okay. You can also push the shaft fully back in. As you can see, I have no rebound. If you have rebound here, you can lock up your shock. So make sure you have no rebound. If you pull it, sometimes it's getting back in, which is normal. If you let your shock sit a little bit, the air that is inside now is gonna go on top. So you might have a dead spot on top, which is normal. As soon as you're gonna activate your shock again, the oil and the air will mix up and your shock will be ready. Your shocks are now ready. Let's go on the track. Bye-bye.